Your mother chose her champion well. Yet, for all your strength, you will still fail. At last, I found you. Please, there's no cause for alarm. Though, I confess, this is not where I had intended to meet. But the place of our meeting is of no consequence, like the war you wage. Win or lose, the path you walk leads only to oblivion. The better path leads you here, to me. I have need of your strength. I'm afraid such questions will have to wait. We have precious little time, and your work is not yet done. Go to the Crystal Tower. I have left something for you near its base. It will serve as a beacon of sorts. One which I pray will help you on your journey. All you need do is find it. I will take care of the rest. Soon, we will throw wide the gate. And the path to the first will be yours to walk at last.
You're awake. Thank heavens. Do you recall the confrontation with Xenos? You were the first to come to the aid of Mistress Lise and the others on the front line. In the midst of your duel, it is said you faltered, and that the Crown Prince seized the opportunity to deliver a mortal blow. Yet before his blade could find its mark, he was distracted by the arrival of a second adversary who bore you away from the battlefield and into the hands of our chirurgeons. Lest you wonder, he left before you awoke. As is his wont. Estinian never was one for emotional farewells. Though Zeno spested all before him. The battle clearly took its toll, for he retreated shortly after your rescue. Seeing this, the remaining Imperial forces decided discretion was the better part of valor and pulled back, allowing us to re-establish our position. We have since received word of renewed unrest in the provinces, doubtless inspired by the efforts of the Aeorzean Alliance and our Far Eastern allies. Nor does the good news end there. We have also come into possession of intelligence suggesting unrest within the Imperial Court. This would certainly explain why both the Emperor and Lord Xenos appear to have abandoned the fight. A long-awaited ray of hope in these dark times. yet to awake, I'm afraid. But please, concentrate on your own recovery for now. You have carried the hopes of some half-dozen nations, and we are all eternally grateful for your efforts. But no one is without their limits, not even you. Leave this fight to us, my friend. You have earned your rest. Ah, but before I forget... I was asked to deliver a message as soon as you awoke. A reminder that you are not alone, though many of your allies have fallen. When you are well and rested, you are to return home, where friends will be waiting for you. Now, if you will excuse me, I must return to the front. May we meet again soon, under happier circumstances.